Hi, I'm Renee. I clean, declutter, and organize my followers' homes for free. This video is sponsored by Jason, Foldable Electric Bicycle. In this episode, I'll be cleaning out a kitchen pantry. I started out by removing all the items to see what was expired. She had cleared off the countertop so I could put all the food items on there. She also provided an additional table to put the food on. As I was pulling out items, she was checking the expiration dates. The expired food's age surprised her. These wire racks did not have a shelf liner. She had shelf liner in stock and I'll install it once the shelves are cleared off. So here is the backstory. The wife previously took care of her mother in their home, who unfortunately passed away. And now, in her very recent retirement, her husband became disabled and has taken on the responsibility of caring for her disabled husband. There was a substantial amount of food on the floor, but I had containers that would improve this situation. Please feel free to hit the like button because it lets me know how useful this video is to you and if I should create more content like this. Onto the pantry door. As I'm removing items off the pantry door, you can see I'm wearing my handy dandy magnifying glasses. I'll leave a link in the description below. She stated most of the items on the door were hardly used or more than likely expired. We both spent quite a bit of time going through all the food on the countertops to see what was expired and what she wanted to keep. Once we had that completed, I started putting the pantry back together. My goal was to put lightweight items on the top shelf so if anything fell on anybody, it would not hurt them. I started by putting the baking items on the third shelf, but by the end, they'll go to the top shelf. The smaller containers that she did not use that often, I put on the pantry door. She liked all of her glass bottles in a basket so it was easy to pull out. I'm lucky enough to help these families and when you watch the video to the end, you're helping more families to declutter and organize their homes.
the container to the left and the black container is what I added to help with storage. Okay, onto the spice cupboard. Once again, I started by emptying out the shelves. The glassware on the top shelf will remain in their current position. A significant number of these spices expired between 5 and 10 years ago. She stated that some of these spices were only used for one recipe and never used again. Are these spice packets still being produced by McCormick? A quick wipe down and then time to put back the spices. This video is sponsored by Jason, foldable electric bicycle. I received my first electric e-bike from Jason. I was pretty excited to open it up and see what was inside. This bike was definitely well packed with a lot of styrofoam. So here's everything that came in the box. It took me about 45 minutes to assemble. The initial step in the instructions involved assembling the handlebars. The bar provided clear indication of height settings. Wow, this is so easy to assemble. It has a satisfying click so you know that it's locked in place. I then put on the wheels, the back rack, and then the bicycle seat. This bike is so compact and I love the way it folds up. Okay, let's go over some features before I take this bike out for a spin. It comes with a headlight and a taillight. And of course, a charging cord was included. This bike comes with an LCD display that will show all of your settings. The display shows details such as battery level, power assist levels, speed, and distance traveled. The left side of the handlebars has various controls which are easy to use and manage various functions such as the headlight, horn, and the pedal assist system, and the level of power. The right side of the handlebars controls the gear shift with thumb and finger control, which is effortless, and the throttle. There are front and rear mechanical disc brakes. Disc brakes offer reliable braking performance and are designed to provide sufficient braking force in wet and dry conditions. I like the rear bike rack, which is perfect for carrying items on longer trips. The bike seat is comfortable, and it's crucial to have a comfortable bike seat for those long rides. The bike pedals provide superior grip and stability while riding. A very convenient charging port to charge the battery. When you fold the bike in half, this is where the battery is located. This is a convenient bike stand when the bike is folded in half. The bike comes with seven speeds or gears to tackle various types of terrain, including difficult uphill climbs. The bike is equipped with a dual shock absorber system for a smooth, comfortable ride. Okay, let's give it a first test ride. I'm going down a pretty steep hill. JC on electric bikes come in various colors to suit different styles and preferences. There are some popular choice colors like black, white, silver, red, blue, green, and yellow. It all depends on which option you take. 
Oh my gosh, this is so easy. It's like you're cheating. Okay, I have to try this again one more time. Still too much fun. Do you hear that sound? There is no sound. That electric motor is very quiet. This electric bike can go 20 miles an hour and hold up to 300 pounds. Another hill. Let's see how it does. I'm trying out the throttle and it's just screaming up the hill. The disc brakes work great going down the hill. Time to fold up the bike, put it in the car, and go to another location to ride. The handlebars go down first. It's easy to fold, you just shouldn't do it on an incline. The Jason bike weighs 59 pounds. The battery weighs 7 pounds. If you don't want to lift the full weight, you can remove the battery. It fits perfectly in the back of the van. Okay, second attempt, not on an incline. Let's see if it goes any better. Well, that was easy enough to take out of the van. Okay, second attempt of putting the bike in. So much better. I've arrived at my next destination, and I'm currently assembling the bike. I almost forgot, there's a key that turns on the electric motor. I'm currently testing a straight level stretch. I'm off to a paved, wood chipped, and gravel park. The shocks work fabulously on this bike. This is not time-lapse video, this is how fast I'm going on the wood chips. The Jason EB7 electric bike has a range of 45 miles per charge and takes them approximately 4 to 5 hours to fully charge. I'm glad I was paying attention. I had to brake for this guy. Those brakes worked awesome. Going up another hill? Just too easy. This bike also comes with a setting called walking mode. The gravel road was uneven, yet this bike tackled it no problem. The Jason electric bike is a solid choice for those looking for a reliable and affordable electric bike with impressive specifications. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can order your e-bike.
I'm so glad I could help this family. Thank you so much for watching. My next video is ready for you to watch, and I'll see you there.